Ebro in the morning, Rosenberg, Laura Styles. We're getting back into this Eminem talk we had yesterday because uh, one of our friends of the show wanted to come for our head and how we handled it. Run the clip of his uh, freestyle from the Shady Cypher 15, whatever it's called. But I may fight for gay rights, especially if Faye Dyke is more of a knockout than Janae Rice. Play nice. I punch Lana Del Rey right in the face twice like mm. Ray Rice in broad daylight in plain sight of elevator surveillance. Offensive. So my head is banged on the railing. Offensive. And celebrate with the Ravens. So we asked people, were you offended by Eminem? Because you said you were not. I was not. Laura Stout? I wasn't either. I feel like this is true to the Eminem brand. That's Rosenberg, that. you were like, yeah. No, I'm not offended, but I certainly understand why, I understand why people would be. So we took calls, mm -hmm. and most of you were not either. Uh, what's your name, lady? Marilini. And Marilini, what did you want to say? All right, it's not as much that I'm upset with Eminem. I'm not, you know, even advocating, like, go out there and boycott or, like, this madness that's going on. I just think that, in general, we should really listen to the rhetoric behind hip-hop culture. Like, what is being said? The fact that it's being called art, that you can sit here and say something like that, and everybody called up, and everybody was just like, oh, yeah, it's okay, it's Eminem, it's fine. Whatever he's saying, it's fine. Nobody even, like, objects to what's being said. It's not just Eminem, it's in general, it's it's the entire... Rosenberg objected to what's being said, and I called it art because of how he put the words together, not because of what was being said. Yeah, but that's the problem. Nobody really looks at it. Everybody's just like, okay, well, it's okay, it's Eminem, this is what he does. But that's the problem. Like, music is not... Kendrick Lamar was up there, like, last week, and I think you guys did an interview, and he was talking about how music, people believe in it. And that's something real. Like, that's something that people don't notice. Like, people really do believe in music. It really touches people. It really goes to heart. Yeah, so but Eminem, Eminem's talking, a troll. Eminem's a prankster. Eminem cracks jokes. Like, people don't... People don't take Eminem like he's really killing his mom. But that's, but that's, it's, it's a platform for us to talk about what's be, being said. He's not the only one talking like this. I mean, these are regular, this is regular stuff that's being said all the time. And lyrics all throughout, like rap and, and hip hop. So why wouldn't And we rock and roll like and country music where they've hit women in country. It's not just hip hop. It doesn't matter, but hip hop is affecting communities that are already in a struggle. They are in a deep struggle. So you can't sit here and compare rock and roll and compare country music. Of course I can. I just did. Yeah, but it's completely different. You're talking She's backing you down right now, Ebro. If, no, you, if, you're, if you're keeping I believe in freedom of speech and if you don't like something then you turn it off. Yeah, but there's free okay, but freedom of speech can be very, very like dangerous because freedom of speech can be the KKK advocating hate. I Listen, mean, and they do it. And they do it. The point of the conversation is Eminem doesn't have to care. And I appreciate that. I don't have a problem with that. But why is it good that artists don't have to care because it doesn't affect them? I don't I don't have a problem with that. I like that. I like that. You like that an artist can sit in their mansion by themselves, say whatever they yes. want, have their music negatively impact the community, yes. and not care oh at all. God. I don't understand why that would be a good I thing. I don't believe Eminem's music negatively but impacts the community. I'm not saying Eminem community. specifically. But that's what we're talking about. No, music no, no, music they, is a reflection of what's already that. going on in society. It's not so the other the way. What, they, what is the mainstream that they're talking about? The, the majority of, of hip-hop that you hear on, ra uh, on radio that's mainstream, they're either talking about thug life and the streets in the hood or the ones who make it out and make it big and the Kanye's and the Jay-Z's, all they're talking about is, is their yachts and Paris and all this other stuff that we're not going to see. But in the middle end, there's people in the middle that don't can't relate to either or. And at some point, you have to start bringing out a message that's going to uplift. Childish but Gambino's not, like, not talking not about that. He's got success guys, right now. You guys really play him? I we mean, play Childish guys, Gambino. We play one song of Childish Gambino's on repeat. It's a pretty good song. Okay, it's a very thank, good song. Thank you for that one song. I appreciate it. I'm just, all I'm saying is that I feel like it could be used, the platform is there. I feel like it could be used for something more positive. I hate living in a society now where everyone has to fit in certain modes or certain PC or certain rules. I hate that. But that's exactly why I'm saying if, if this is what Eminem is speaking about, if, it's not Eminem as much as the problem. He can say whatever the hell he wants to say. He does it. It's the community, the people around, the fact that we sit here and don't object to it at all. Nobody sees a problem with it. That's what I have a problem with. No, I don't think it's nobody sees a problem with it. That's why you're on the radio now. I'm sure plenty of people do. When you guys took the first two callers, it was men. And they both were like, no, 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 no. And all I kept thinking in the back of my head is, when is a woman going to call and say, no, this isn't all right? The two women that called right after, both of them were like, no, that's Eminem, that's Eminem. I'm like, what is going Are you serious? Like, what's going on? I uh, at the same time, I mean, they have every right. They, in their gut, it doesn't make them feel any way. 
and that's okay. And that's but fine. I respect. I guess it. you're I missing the point. Of, I guess you're missing the point of why you're on the program right now. No, no, no. I no. I object to it, and I wanted to make it known that I. I no, no, no. But, but that's why we're putting your voice on the program. No, I hear you. I hear you, Matt. And I also want people to take responsibility for their own and stop expecting TV, radio, and media and artists to raise their goddamn children. Um, thanks for your call this morning. Thank you for having me. Like, I listen to you guys every morning. I don't know why we're, such, we're so bad for the community. <laughs> you're not, you're not, though. You guys are actually, you guys bring up really good topics. You have me in the car sometimes. Like, I need to go up there. You guys are out of control. But you guys bring up really good topics. I appreciate it. We ain't here arguing. Having a good talk. Having a good talk. And listen, this is where I'm at, man. At a certain point, Ebro in the morning, Laura Styles and Rosenberg, 842. At a certain point, lesson, the things going on in our communities. Yes, the circumstances, the socioeconomics, the education, the resources, the this, the that, the da 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 Laundry list. The list has been damn the same for a long time, people. We know what the problems are, but at a certain point, we got to start taking responsibility for our actions and stop pointing to rap music. Or stop pointing to sagging jeans or the N-word or this or that. Fam, are you being a parent? Are, you, are your children in your home? Did you finish high school? Do you have a job? I get tired of this conversation, man. We keep having the same conversation over and over. Oh, this person's lyrics or this imagery or this or this or that. But Ebro Limbaugh, Ebro, Ebro Hannity, can I ask you one question? What, man? Are you saying there aren't hardworking parents doing their job? That's right. They're in a rough neighborhood. Yep. They're still competing. Yes, they are. With the, for their kids' attention. Yes, they are. And when those kids turn around, and every record that's an influence in their life that they see on TV and hear on the radio glorifies violence, strip clubs, guns, and hoes, you can't say that doesn't have an impact. Of course it does, and it's harder for those parents. It is very hard. The first thing out of your mouth though was they're in a bad neighborhood. Okay. What's going on in that neighborhood? What are the what are the people who live in that neighborhood behaving like? There's a lot of bad stuff going on. Are they committing crimes? Are these kids shooting at each other? You know, black men are dying at a very high rate. Yes, that's been going on for a long time. Who's killing them? Generally, other black people. My Every man. My man. Yeah. We got to look in the mirror. Yeah, but that's not... I'm not an excuse maker, but Ebro, you cannot say that the re the sole reason that black men are killing black men in the hood is only because of those black men. There are a I'm lot of I'm not saying that. F I'm saying start with the things you can control yourself. Control yourself. Control your family and control your neighborhood. You know, a lot of the kids standing on the blocks, their moms see them standing on the blocks. Their dads aren't there because their dad was standing on the block and so on and so forth. It starts, I, I, that's all I'm saying. All we can control is us, B. But I, I, I don't feel differently than you. I'm just saying, why doesn't that apply to the people who make music as well? I'm not saying it doesn't. Well? I'm not saying Let's it doesn't. songs that aren't I about I don't violence. control that though. I don't control the fact that people like Bobby Shmurda. I don't control that. If I didn't play Bobby Shmurda never again, it's going to be played on the block, on in the club, wherever. Matter of fact, it makes it even cooler when it's not on the radio and it's hood and it's grimy and it's this. And I'm baking soda. I got the baking soda. Coco, I got the da da. Oh my god. Yo, fam. That's big in the club already. Not because of Hot 97. I'm not, I'm not blaming Hot 97. But I'm saying the point being that the people who are making these records and the people who live in these neighborhoods, fam, it's on you, my G. You're out there every day. You're doing this every day. You're committing crimes against your people every day. Yo, when you get your show on Fox News, I just want you to bring me on. <laughs> Put me on as a guest to argue on the other side. Because you sound like the black Sean Hannity right now. Yeah.